ICICI Lombard General Insurance is one of the leading private sector non-life insurers in India that offers a comprehensive and well-diversified range of products. The company is showing consistently a positive result quarter on quarter. Here Never Look Back presents the Q2 results of ICICI Lombard General Insurance 2020. Let's get into the video. The company has started in 2001. It's a joint venture between ICICI Bank, that's India's second largest bank, and Fairfax Financial Holdings Limited, a financial services company that is based in Toronto. ICICI Bank had 64% stake and Fairfax had 36% in the joint venture. The company has tied up with Karur Vaishya Bank in 2019 for selling bank assurance products. In August 2020, ICICI Lombard acquired Bharti AXA General Insurance through a share swap deal. The company's market capital is Rs 57,167 crores. Price to earning ratio is 41.1. Return on capital employed is 28.7%. Current stock price is Rs. 1,258. Book value is 154. Return on equity is 20.9%. Highest stock price is Rs. 1,440 and the lowest stock price is Rs. 805. The non-life insurer has released its Q2 earnings yesterday. The company has declared a jump of 35% in net profit that is Rs 415.74 crores in the Q2 of 2020, while the Q2 of 2019 it has posted Rs 307.91 crores. The total income has gone up to Rs 2883.4 crores from Rs 2,739.67 crores the last year. The investors believe that the company is consistently showing a positive performance quarter on quarter. Here is the company's what analysis. The strength is the company is virtually debt free. It has been maintaining a healthy dividend payout of 18.81%. The weakness is promoter holding has decreased over the last three years that is to minus 4.03 percent opportunity is brokers upgraded recommendation or target price in the past three months the threat is stocks are with high profit to earning ratio let's compare it with its peer hdfc life insurance this quarter icici lombard has done a better performance in net profit compared to HDFC Life Insurance. Refer the table for detailed information. Here is the detailed 3 years quarterly results comparison. Sales of the company is consistently increasing in the last 3 years. Operating profit has seen a hike from Rs 457 crores the last year to Rs 542 crores this year. In September 2018, it was Rs 436 crores. Net profit of Q2 2018 was Rs 293 crores. In the last year Q2, it was Rs 308 crores. And at present, it is Rs 415.74 crores. The shareholder pattern goes like this. The promoters hold 51.89%. The foreign institutional investors hold 27.1%. The domestic institutional investors hold 13.59% and the public holds 7.42%. Since last three years, the promoters and public shares have decreased. Foreign institutional investors and domestic institutional investors' share have increased gradually. The investors are being bearish on the company's stocks for quite some time now. We'll have to wait and see what impact the Q2 earnings will do from Monday. What do you all think? Is it going to be bullish or continue to be bearish? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section. We hope the video was informative. Do consider to subscribe to our channel. A like for the video would surely going to motivate us to bring more informative videos. We'll be right back soon. Until then, stay tuned.